This is the most significant update to Cruise that we have seen in quite some time. Hey everyone, Derpy here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. Today, I'm going to go through and talk a little bit about the update which Kixai has made here, which includes the opportunity to spend 25 gold at a minimum here to roll for 5 crews. One of these 5 crews is going to be silver or better. You would have 1 silver and 4 regular, or 5 gold, it just kind of turns out here. And there are new crews, which is a little bit of a twist, something that we weren't necessarily expecting, although we've all seen Kixai playing around with these new crews recently. I'm going to go through and talk about these new crews we got here, the update notes for these, and try and answer the question, is it worth it? If you want a little bit of a spoiler, the answer is probably not. Now up on the left side of the screen, you are going to see several different crews that are popping up here. Currently, there's the three-star Free Rangers and the two-star Demo Squad. Notice some of these are similar and have existed before, such as the Free Rangers, while some are entirely new, like the two-star Free Rangers or the three-star uh, Critical Crew, which you'll see coming up shortly here. Now I'm showing some example rolls that players have got undone here, and I will do one or two rolls myself here, probably just one, because, like I said, it's not really worth it. A few crews, such as the Junkyard Dogs, were also buffed, which you're seeing here. It's a plus 30% defense to base card, instead of just the plus 30% for one damage type. Dead Eye Destroyers is the critical crew that was buffed a little bit. We added some uh, time to the base attack, and that was actually in the game a little bit longer ago. Some of these changes have been leaking out ahead of time into the game before the update notes existed, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me from the technical perspective of what update notes should be. Getting into it, Kixai has said that they are introducing a new Rogue Crew pack focused on base hitting, which is something that I'll discuss a little bit here. They actually do list the crews that are in here, although they do it wrong. They say uh, Uncommon Sea Serpents 2, but Uncommon Molotov Maidens 2. Okay, I don't know why there's no 2 there. Same thing for the Junkyard Dogs, especially when it's listed twice. Some of the stuff that they're doing doesn't really make much sense. But you'll notice there are a lot of new crews and a lot of regular ones. The Uncommon means 1 star or bronze. The um, Rare means 2 star or silver, and the Legendary means really only these 3 crews here, the 3 star or the gold ones. Just keep that in mind here, you are not guaranteed a gold crew. For 25 coins, you might just get a 2 star Molotov Maidens and a bunch of other regular ones. Just consider that as you're discussing this and going through this right here. Also note that even though I am showing the 3 star Free Rangers up on the side here, that is not listed as something that you can roll in the game in this chest right here. Just throwing it in because it's relevant to the crew discussion. So there are these things listed here. If we scroll down a little bit further, you can see that you get 5 crews from this pack, not just 3, and 1 is guaranteed to be rare, which is a silver or higher. They've also removed the Wharf Rats and Lucky Bastards from the packs, which means only the packs, not the regular 1,000 uranium roll. It is a little bit ambiguous here, but that's my interpretation, and I have still been rolling Lucky Bastards, no surprise. Now, the interesting thing here is that Kixai has said the goal is to make things useful for PvP. Not for everyday players, not for raids, it's for PvP, these are PvP crews. In my mind, that means things are going to start to be tuned around these crews, and you're going to be expected to have a two-star crew on to hit bases and do relatively well. At this point, we kind of already are expected to have demo squads in some respects, but I won't get into that too much further. Another note here is that the Free Rangers and Midnight Marauders were bugged. I don't know why the Grease Monkeys wasn't, even though they all perform exactly the same way. Kixai's explanation for it makes no sense. How it used to work is, well, so it's supposed to work is like evade. If you're at 50% and you add 50% on there, you're supposed to go to 75% uh, resistance rather than getting to 100. So that was bugged and ships were becoming almost invincible. I'm not quite sure why something has 52% defense here, but Kixai has buffed the, um, the new Free Ranger crew slightly to account for the change in bug fix to a nerf, so the crew is worse than before, before you start screaming about base defense and how attackers always get their way. In this case, actually, it, it was, in effect, a nerf to the crew. It is no longer broken, and they fixed, fixed the stacks a little bit to ease the pain. 
Same thing for the Midnight Rotters. They buff that just a little bit there. Okay, so we are now in the game, and I just want to show you the crews and the options for this. We still have those standard crew rolls, which is going to be the only thing that I'm going to roll. You can still do the 1,000 uranium and get stuff. You can get the elite crew, which is bad. I would never roll the elite crew. You're going to get stupid two-star crews and not have a chance at the gold ones. Or we do have the new core 2023 elite crew for 30 gold, reroll cost of 25. Five crews with guaranteed one rare or higher. This kick's eye is extremely misleading. You are saying one rare, rare crew or higher, and you have a picture of a gold one. This gold is legendary, not rare. Rare means silver. Put a silver here, not a gold one. This is, again, in my mind, extremely misleading. And when we try and roll this here, we can see that obviously we're at our capacity, which is another interesting point here. So many of these paid win crews have been released, and that is what I'm calling them, that we don't actually have room. Most people have 100, 100 crew spots, 110 crew spots filled. I tend to stick more at 50, and if you have watched the BP Crib Show, know that pretty well. And there, there are some interesting stuff here. But I'm not going to generally roll these things day to day. I'm just doing this on live here just for the video to show you what's going on here. If you do want to contribute, you can press the like button. But that's beside the point. What you actually get out of this crew chest, is it going to be worth it? 30 gold, what you get. Junkyard dogs, buffed recently, but useless. Uh, regular crews, you know, all the stuff. The Wolfpack crew, still just, you could roll that and be completely fine. Steelheads, I have a million of those in my base. Actually, I don't. I had to dismiss them all to actually make this video. Moth and Top Maiden 2 star, completely useless. Same exact as the 1 star, just a longer duration. And I could have gotten these 4 and 1 of a regular crew, but I didn't. I lucked out and got the Free Ranger 2 star. Which, is this worth 30 gold to me? Absolutely not. Maybe to you if you're hitting bases, but... Again, I don't really think this is going to be worth it. To most players, demo squads are just going to be better, and as of right now, you can still roll them in the regular uranium. You don't actually have to spend 30 gold coins to hit a base. You could if you wanted to, but hey, there you go. So those are my thoughts here. Um, I would not spend money on this. I think it's ridiculous to have a paid-for crew system. I don't think that it makes sense to make you spend three dollars on something you don't even know the drop rates of because i should totally implement the drop rates and tell us what the percent chance of getting each one is they should do that as a starter here and i don't really like having these crews here in the first place in my mind kicks i need to do something differently with crews and that is the regular rolling cycle should be improved so that there is not a box flashing up here and let me just accept this and show you what i mean in my mind kicks i should not be doing something where we have the uh, crews here, I would like to be able to check a box that says I'm interested in Demo Squad, Steelhead, and Creeping Death, and just be able to roll automatically until I get one of those three. It takes over however much uranium it's going to take. Other games I've played have done this here, and that will eliminate the factor of players just needing to spend time clicking, having a white box flash up here and trying to click next ahead of time. It seems like kick size system for crew rolling is just to make players as frustrated as possible, so they go spend 30 coins instead of actually doing that. But, you know, those are just my thoughts there. I won't leave me rolling for crews too much longer. I'm interested in knowing your thoughts. What are what do you think about this new change? Are you going to be spending the 30 coins on the new crews here or the 25 to re-roll here? I don't really plan to. With that said, I want to go ahead and say thank you to those whose folks appear on screen now. These folks are making Battle Pirates videos like this one possible, especially where you have to spend a few dollars just to make the video in order to buy coins for these new crews. But hey, that's besides the point. If you want your name on here, there's a subscribe button and join button below the YouTube video. With that said, and until next time, this is going to be Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate. Oh hey, look at that. I just got a DOS. Just kidding, it was a lucky bastards.